Ready? My friends, let's talk about something that we all seem to think that we need. We need, we want, we buy the warranties. Agree? We buy warranties all the time. All the time. Now, friends, how many of you have the warranty on your phone? It's not as common, a little bit. You got a correct screen? Why is it not fixed? Because you're lazy, that's the only reason why? Talk to me about the warranty on the phone, anyone? Got you. What do you got? What do you want to know? Okay, warranty on the phone. Screen replacement, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Okay. From Apple. And okay. Then... How long? Uh-huh. How long? What do you mean? What did it take? An hour. Always? And, huh? Always? Always. Oh. And then um, other times, like. Oh, this dude is wet! <laughs> <laughs> you got all my fingers, man. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Give me a wet egg. All right. I got paint on my hand. It's lead based. All right. So, so do you? Are you involved with? You work with Apple Care? I don't work with them. Yeah. You you do or no? Yes, I do. Oh, you do. And then like other times where um. My phone is not like sour cream windows. Yeah. Like in two pieces. Uh huh. Went into the Apple store, got a million fucking bucks. Okay. iPhone 12 Pro. Okay. I and I don't know what the price of that iPhone would be normally. And then like the other thing, like this phone I got at Best Buy, and they gave me two years of Apple Care for free. Two. Okay. So free. Free warranty is a lot better than paying for a warranty. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. We just came in. Cool, sorry, I gotta undo attendance. Okay, so so Apple Care, so so I just want to make sure I get this right. Because I don't want to give you misinformation. Because I know that other warranties aren't this way. So I pay I can get Apple Care. I just have to make sure because I've never bought Apple Care. Okay. Okay. Not because I don't have Apple items, but I just, just don't. Buy I just don't buy it. Yeah. Okay. So, if I crack my screen and I go in for thirty dollars, you said. Yeah. And I can get a new screen. Yeah. And is it always a? Is it always the issue where they would be able to replace my screen right then and there? Uh yeah, I mean. You have to make an appointment. Okay. That's, I mean, that's it. Okay. Can I always get my appointment when I want it? Yes. Okay. They'll, so. they'll, they'll give you like open times, and then you click on a time, and then you just schedule and go in. And then it takes about an hour for them to. Yeah. So you're without your phone for about an hour. Yeah. Okay. That's better than it has been, because I know that there was a time that Apple Care. For a cracked screen, you would have to leave your phone for two weeks. No. No, that, this is what it used to be. Yeah. I mean, even like on my Apple Watch when I came into the orange shadow screen, went in, literally, I was there for 30 minutes. They gave me a brand new Apple Watch. Nice. Okay. All right. So this China changes a few things. With investigation of what you just told us, which I have no reason to doubt. Yeah. I know that many years ago, we bought, my wife and I, we bought an eMac. You know those old, big old block computers? You know what I'm talking about? They spent more time trying to sell us the warranty on the eMac than us even trying to buy the computer. And it was kind of crazy because it was like, what's going on? Now, I know that... With your information, that's new information. It used to be literally if you had to have warranty work done on your phone, 
So it sounds like Apple Care's got to figure it out. They probably listened to their consumers that were saying, basically, people, I bet you warranties for Apple Care did this. They probably went up, and then they probably went down for a time. There's a certain amount of time. And why did it go down is because people did not like not having their item for a long period of time. I mean, let's face it. If you, if back in, let's talk this time, and if you had bought a warranty and you took your phone or your device in to get it fixed and they said, that's great, we need it for two weeks, we'll call you when it's done. Customer satisfaction. Now, it sounds like AppleCare listened and they said, boom, I bet you AppleCare has started going back up again because of that idea. I applaud you. Thank you. Thank you for the information. I appreciate that. Okay. So, is, and you said new screen is 30 and new phone is 100 usually? Yeah, well, so, depending upon. It's like you know, say you've got a uh, $1,200 phone that you pay $120. Right, so like a 10% thing yeah. probably. Okay. And I don't, so a lot of times if you buy something, you can get it free for a while, but how much does Apple Care usually cost? Anyone know? Uh, 10 bucks a month. So it's 10 if per month. you do like a month, it's 10. 10 per month? Yeah. Hmm. Now I don't know this, I'm sorry. The new latest and greatest iPhone without buying a new phone service, because I know like Verizon, if you sign it your life away, you can get a free one. Um, how much would, if I went into Apple or any store, how much could I get the new latest and greatest non-button having? That's for you guys, because you made fun of my button yesterday. How much would, would a brand spank new Lazy Grace iPhone cost me. I'm just curious. I don't know. Twelve hundred? You think? I don't know. I I don't know these things. I'm sorry. For the most expensive one, fifteen hundred. So this. That's with a terabyte of storage. So like for the cheapest, like best of the best, a thousand bucks. That so. So we have a price point of either of these, and let's see. And I'm just trying to make this justifiably work because I, I like so where so basically, this ten dollars a month after 150 months, which you all would never have a phone for that long, means you're now paying more for the warranty than the actual phone is worth. This one right here would be a hundred months so we're talking about a, a great amount of time that you'd have you could invest uh, excuse me hiccup time you'd have to invest in a warranty for that but then you still have a copay so new phone 100 new screen 30 10 per month so 10x plus 30 equals a thousand Go with the least expensive. 10x equals 970. So this basically means 97 months. 97 months might be worth it. Now, I have a question, and I don't know this answer either. You guys can help me. How much does it cost me just to get a new screen without a warranty? 120. Hundred is really okay. Mm -hmm. Thirty. So basically, I'm just curious about this. If, you, if you're on like one of the Pro Max models, it's like two hundred. Okay, so one twenty two hundred is our price point. So I'm just try, I'm trying to get us to justify if the warranty and this this sounds like it might be a good idea, especially if you're an old guy like me, you know. I take my iPhone out of that OtterBox case, even though it's like older than most of you, it still looks brand new because 
I don't use my phone like you guys. And I'm not saying you guys are broken, and I'm probably the broken one. Um, where does it become worth it for you? Where, when does the warranty really become? I mean, I like the fact, hey, I can bring it in. I like the fact that they have improved their customer care so you're not surrendering your phone for too long of a period of time. But is it going to be worth it for you? I mean, it's just some things. You know, 10 in a month. 10 a month seems like a pretty good price point because, let's face it, that's only uh, two streaming monthly subscriptions to some of the lower end stuff these days. Used to be two of them because, you know, four ninety nine used to get most of the streaming stuff. Now things have crept up in price. So where does the warranty come back? So I like the Apple warranty, but the, th the idea is think about this. Now here, let's go to a different warranty. Also, the only problem is the cheaper Apple. Oh, it lowers? Yeah. It's on a sliding scale. Okay. Yeah. So my dad's like, he's got my old iPhone 11, and I paid 6 bucks a month or something. Wow. You out? Hey, Max back. Home warranty. Oh, look who decided to show. I got to start all over again. All right. So, my friends, let's talk about a home warranty. Okay. Let's say you go and you want to buy yourself a new home, a new, new to you, but used to everyone else. Okay, now, in this current, check it out, we got a wasp in here. Thanks for, bring, thanks for bringing us a friend in. All right, hey, hey, let's put money in a pot. Whoever gets stung gets the money. I got 20 bucks. I got 20 bucks. Don't take out the light structure. I don't like the positions. Would you feel better with a baseball bat? <laughs> don't don't take out the light structure though. Do you want a chair? There's a chair right there. <laughs> he's mad at you. He's got. He's he's giving you the stink guy. You know what's nice, Tommy? He's up there. He's not bugging anybody. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's all it took me to talk you down? Somebody got a chocolate or something? Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at his wife! Where'd it go? It's in there, so. It didn't like me. Tommy, you have to do it now that you already started. So, so Tommy, you're hiding in the corner. You got to run out to the hallway. I don't know how it feels. I don't know how it feels. There's towels. Well, there's towels. I think it goes. This is good. Oh! 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 Where'd it go? Oh! Where's where, where's it at? Oh, what's your chart? Did you get it? Step on it. Step on it. Step on it. Oh! Come on, baby, do the twist. Well, I see part of it right there, so I would say it's probably. Oh, lift up that thing. That's all my cuss. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, Sturb cracked it. What? Is it, is it, it's not on there. Oh, it's there. Where? Am I blind? Oh, yeah, no, like, he did. Yeah. Well, he's in like five different pieces of that thing. Best day ever. Oh, I feel safer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for those of you who are watching the video online, we just took out a wasp. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for keeping us all safe. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
<laughs> so, did you record it? <laughs> of course. All right. So, so my friends, let's say we're going to go buy ourselves a home. It's a few years out for most of you, which is fine. In a really hot market, you actually have to buy your own warranty for your home. In a market that's not as aggressive as the Colorado markets, a lot of times the homeowner who's selling you the home will pick up the warranty for you. Okay? So let's talk about let's talk about some pros of getting this whole warranty and let's talk about some cons. Okay, if you buy a home and anything like the AC or the heater or the water heater or the plumbing, if any of these things go aside, things can get fixed. Okay, now this is going to cost you a small copay to get it fixed, meaning you have to come up with the first, you have to come up with the first, uh, say $500, and then they cover the rest. Now, let's see, a brand new water heater. Fortunately, now the water heaters are no, they're coming back down in price. Water heaters were pretty expensive a couple years ago when we had kind of a shortage, but it's now coming back down. ACs and heaters, same thing. Uh, plumbing, it is what it is. But basically, you have to pay $500 for each thing if it goes out to get fixed. And it covers other things as well. But some of the cons to this, this is where you have to be careful, my friends. So let's face it. We all probably enjoy when we get up in the morning or before we go to bed, we all probably enjoy when we turn the water on for our showers or our baths, we enjoy the fact that we're getting nice warm water that we have some control over and it works. The big problem with this is one of the cons, you get a water heater put in, they put the lowest value water heater in. Now this is where things kind of come back and bite you a little bit. You can get some pretty efficient water heaters that are well insulated, that have a good BTU, if it's a um, gas water heater, you have a good one that could heat up water and sustain you a nice warm water for a long period of time. But if they put the lowest value water heater in, it is not well insulated, it doesn't have the best of heating elements, though it's still using gas, it might not have a high enough BTU unit. So you might be you might go and put a water heater in your house and say, This is great, turn the water and shower on you, this is great. You bathe yourself, this is great. And then anyone else in the house that decides, Oh, I want to go take a shower next, they gotta wait a certain amount of time for that uh, warm water to come because they put the lowest version of the water heater in. Though the water heater you had in your house was broken, they put a new one in, but it's like the cheapest unit. Okay? This is where you have to be very careful with these types of warranties. So if you had bought yourself a home warranty, or if the homeowner had purchased a home warranty for you, being that you bought their house, make sure that if something goes out, you meet with the person who is going to do the work for this. And it might be in your best interest to say, I know that you're going to pull off the one that fell off the back of the truck and put it in my house. But what's it going to cost me to put in the equivalent, if not better, unit? So those are some things that you might want to look at. And I was not aware of this this cheap thing, except for when my wife and I, 25 years ago, we bought our first house. Sure enough, there went the water heater, about two weeks into owning the house, and the guy came out 
and all of a sudden we're looking at how much it's costing to heat our water because we have the least efficient thing out there and how long it's taking and how often the thing is having to turn on because somebody took a shower. So like we didn't really save money because we had the home warranty. We wound up paying extra money because we had to direct our money towards heating costs and it also cut into our time because we got a pretty cruddy one in. We kept this cheap water heater for one year and we said this is ridiculous and we went and we paid a good price to have a well updated water heater put in which was great it worked and we were happy but it was more money out of my pocket but basically the con on this is it took me time and it took me money in order to get equivalent if not better than what I had put in because they're going to put the cheapest version available in and those are a few things to to be very cautious of when you are buying something now I like this Apple Care thing that we were talking about. Let me go back to that. That Apple Care, I think app, good for Apple for figuring out customer service, but they're also finding out these price points that make people feel comfortable. Okay? It's like, do you have any streaming services at your home that nobody watches? Yeah. Everyone, I, I bet you everyone in here has some sort of streaming service. It's like, you know, what's that XYZ streaming service? I don't know. We don't ever watch it. You still pay for it? Yeah, it's like five bucks a month. I mean, they want that. Okay? So streaming services on your thing are kind of like gym memberships. Gym memberships good if you use it. Gym memberships even better for the gym if you don't use it and you just keep paying your monthly fee. Okay? So, um, car warranty. Is it worth getting a car warranty? What do you think? Yes or no? If you're a bad driver, then I Yeah, if you're hard on a car, maybe. So, things that you should know. If you buy yourself a new car, if you buy a new car, or even a slightly used car, you have a manufacturer's warranty manufacturer's warranty that you get automatically for almost anything even a slightly used car if you had a, a if you buy a car that has 30,000 miles on it and it still comes with a 100,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty you don't need to buy any extra on that yeah so i just bought a new car a couple of days ago uh -huh. and they gave me a warranty for years. good Good. So that's worth it because they gave it to you. It's when you go to pay for the extended warranty on it. Because they were asking me. So how how do they how do they sell us these warranties? It's based solely on emotion. Okay. Do you remember do you remember our sales pitch with rent to own? Who's the salesman? Rex? Rex? Rex the salesman. This whole sales thing is built on into your emotion. What are we going to what are we going to do when somebody has you know you as soon as you realize you get somebody to realize, oh yeah, you're right. The salesman knows they have you. Do y'all know when a salesman's lying to you? When, the, when their lips are moving. Okay? They're trying to sell you something. Okay? Do you need it? I mean, we've all got the silly phone call. Hey, we're trying to get a hold of you because your car warranties are going to expire. Right? I mean, it's become a joke. It's even on television commercials as a joke. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I always tell them I don't have a car. And then they kind of just stops them in the tracks like, well, what do you mean you don't have a car? I don't. We want to sell you a cell phone warranty. I don't have a cell phone. How'd you answer the phone then? Landline. 
We showed this cell phone. You call me a liar? No, no, sir. Oh. Yeah, I get a little sarcastic with that. I get a really, really sarcastic with that. Um, my friends, what I would tell you in the realm of warranties, are warranties valid and important from time to time? Yes. Do you need warranties on everything you buy? I bought I bought a microwave oven for my daughter when she went to college that cost me sixty dollars and Target wanted to sell me a warranty that cost me twenty dollars a year for a microwave that cost sixty dollars. Am I really gonna drop thirty percent of what that microwave cost? Because my daughter won't be able to heat up her nacho plate or whatever she has it in her apartment in college no so there are things i think maybe warranty is valid especially if it comes with something there's a built-in warranty it's just an assurance that if something were to happen to a prized possession that you're purchasing what i thought was funny when i when i bought my wife's engagement ring before we were married they tried to sell me a warranty on the diamond. And the warranty on the diamond had two, came in twofold. If she lost the diamond, they would replace it. Okay. Or if the diamond became damaged, they would replace it. Thank I uh, yes. It's like one of the hardest substances on the planet. Because it's Diamond tipped yeah. drill bits. Yes, you're getting my thing. So I just thought it was kind of funny that if I if my wife damages the diamond, how in the heck has she damaged the diamond? So I don't know. Warranties, all about emotions. Do you need it? You, yeah, you probably don't. You might be ticked if you didn't get it, because they always try and. They always try and kind of guilt you into once you didn't get it. Oh, if you only had the warranty, you would have had done this. True. But I do have an iPhone like 2. If my iPhone 2 gets damaged, it's probably not going to stop. It's going to probably stop working at some point. Probably has already stopped working. I'm not getting enough texts these days. That or my friends are too old and they don't like texting anymore. And Lord knows when my dad texts. Oh, jeez. It's like reading a foreign language. Like, what is that? Oh, it means uh, this. Sure. So, I don't know. Depends what you want to do. All right, my friends. You know what your assignment was from yesterday, right? Yep. Probably. Yep.